Hi everyone, this is Omar from Tech Recaps. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a few tips that we can apply in order for us to save battery on Android devices. Let's start. First of all, you need to make sure that you have the latest operating system. Uh, in my case, I have the Pixel 3 XL. So I always check if there is an update for the operating system from Google. You might have Samsung device, you might have Sony, um, HTC. So make sure that you have the latest operating system. Uh, that's going to that's gonna fix a lot of bugs and uh, going to save you a lot of battery. And also make sure that you use a black wallpaper. In this case, I have a white one just for uh, the purpose of recording this video. But uh, I highly recommend that you have a black uh, wallpaper that's gonna save a lot of battery as well besides make sure that you use the original cable and plug that come with the phone as using a third-party cable or plug will affect the battery on the long run my next tip is to switch off auto brightness you go to settings oh sorry um, and then you go to um, display and then adaptive brightness by switching this option off the auto brightness won't be adjusted automatically by the phone you can instead adjust it from here manually according to your preference and that's gonna help save some battery so follow these two steps and you will see an improvement in the battery performance another thing that you can do is switch off uh, the notifications from uh, some apps so if you go to settings again and then apps and notifications see all apps here you can see all the apps that you have installed on your phone so what you need to do is go through these apps and switch off or disable the app that you don't wish to receive notifications from and also switch off the location services this is gonna save you some battery as well what you can do as well is switch off the vibration and the sound from the keyboard because using the keyboard with these options on it's gonna vibrate every time you type anything on the keyboard or it's gonna give you some sound so if you go to settings and then sound and then we swipe a little bit down to advanced here you can see a few options so what you need to do is switch off the touch sounds and touch vibration my next tip for you is to switch on the battery server if needed so if we go to settings and then battery here you can see all the information related to battery as well as the battery saver option if we click on the battery server uh, this option will be turned on automatically if the phone's battery goes down to 15%. You still can adjust it, like bring it all the way up to 100% or maybe switch it on all the time. Um, what I tend to do is put it on 30%. Um, this is going to switch it on, as I said, once the phone hits 30% battery. Once you switch it on, the battery icon will go red, as you can see. That means this option is on. So what you can do as well is make sure you have the latest update from uh, the Play Store. So if you go to Play Store and then we swipe to the left, we click on the My Apps and Games. As you can see that I have all the applications updated to the latest software. Um, just make sure that you update these uh, apps every single day, I'm going to say. As I said earlier, um, the operating system should be updated um, regularly. So if we go to settings and then we swipe a little bit down to system and then advanced system updates, make sure that you check uh, this option uh, once a week. That should be enough. These are the tips that I have for the Pixel devices, which also apply to all other Android devices. The last thing that I want to mention is you need to take into consideration the fact that if you have a smartwatch connected to your phone, that's going to consume the battery. So smartwatches will consume the battery faster than normal. That's all for today. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Until the next video, peace.